Hey guys. So I was configuring my stream deck after I just set up voice meter banana to route all of my crazy experiments so that I can record it. But anyway, I uh, stumbled into or kind of through how to get the controls into or from voice meter into the stream deck so that I have them in front of me so we can do a few things. Just want to show you that real quick. So. Uh, first, I'm going to consult the manual. We're here around page 30, okay, just to see how this works. Voice meter remote requests. All right, first thing, this cryptic language. This is the syntax. This is like how it is supposed to look. Then here we have input strip parameters. Okay, strip index is a zero based index related to voice meter. Right, okay, so we've got strip i is the number and then what's after that is the command equals value range either on or off and then the remarks in the version okay so what we're going to work with right here is mute so here on my uh main area you can see i've got uh this button and this button these buttons are already set up and they're set up on the stream deck so that uh, now you can hear the reverb of both microphones, or I can just turn it back off. All right. So also in the background, I've got uh, Bitwig playing, just playing. And it's on mute. But we're going to leave that off mute, and we'll just stop that for right now. And let's... All right, we're gonna make a new button, a couple of new buttons. First is, we're gonna make a command button that can receive the commands from the stream deck. Okay. So this is mute, bit wig. Okay, we're gonna have a two position toggle button. The other option is a push button, like push to talk. Okay, have keyboard shortcuts. All of these so far, I've been uh, using control and the top number row which is right here. So zero, one, two, three. So we're gonna have control three, operate this. Then with the uh, commands, here's how the commands work. So we go back to the manual. And what I want is a mute button. So we're gonna go strip I, and I equals which strip we're working with, mute. And uh, so strip zero, one, two, three. Strip three, mute, equals zero. That's gonna be its initial state, or the state it's in now. Then, on is gonna equal one, and off will equal zero again. So that should give us everything we need to put this directly into the stream deck. The uh, other thing I do is I make the control keys, like in this case, control three is, I don't know of it being used anywhere else, so I, I made it exclusive. To, uh, to the system so we don't have to have anything open when we're doing it. Okay. So here on the stream deck, make a new hotkey switch. Okay. And mute Bitwig. And put that in the middle. Make that big so we can see it. Okay, so the hotkey for this was control three, which is also referenced here on our uh, voice meter remote button commands. So that is control three, and then to turn back off is also control three. All right, so we can click off of that, and then I can uh, select it. And yeah, that's off, that's on. We also have, uh, it comes stock with uh, these two, these two states. So these two, uh, these two things here. I, I have a bunch of icons. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, uh, put like a Bitwig normal icon and then put a Bitwig red icon. Okay, so now, now when I toggle, unmute, mute, unmute, mute, unmute, good, okay. So now I'll we'll turn this back up to zero. Play 
PC3. And from my stream deck, I now have mute, unmute, mute, unmute. And the way that you get those things into the system is covered pretty well, not only in the manual, but in other videos. But how to get this whole thing to work together with the stream deck was much, much less clear. So uh, anyway, thought uh, I would let you guys just see it, try it yourself. Uh, thanks for watching.